Well, it has been a wet morning for much of Arizona as rain moves in and it is just starting. Welcome everyone to 12 News at 1. I'm Tram Mai. Right now we are tracking some of the biggest stories right here in the valley, starting with the topic that most people are talking about this afternoon, the weather. Meteorologist Chris Dunn is here now with a look at our weather impact alert forecast. And Chris, pretty much all of Arizona could be affected by Mother Nature, right? Yeah, just about the entire state is, is covered up with this green box, which is a flood watch. And uh, you may be asking, where is my dry heat? Where is our normal October weather? Well, this is not normal for October. Typically, we get on average about a half inch of rain, and this is what we're looking at the potential. This takes us through Sunday morning early about another inch of rain in Phoenix to an inch and a half possible in some spots of the valley. It really depends on where you are and where things set up. For example, this morning it was uh, central Phoenix and the west side Glendale Levine area about an inch plus. Uh, some parts of the East Valley, hardly anything. There's Glendale's 1.18, Cave Creek about three quarters of an inch, Peoria just shy of a half inch. And compare that to our normal October rain, 0.56. So we've already doubled up on that in some spots of the valley, and we are not done yet uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Here's that look at that map with the, uh, the green, the flood watch in effect <coughs> for just about the entire state of Arizona. And for the valley specifically, that has been extended now all the way through Sunday because of the long duration, a prolonged period of precipitation uh, for our state. And you can see this train of rain extending all the way down the Colorado River and into Southern California and Northern Baja, California. And this is all emanating from tropical storm Priscilla, which is still off the coast of Baja, California, but it's feeding in all of this tropical moisture. And you can see one uh, shower popping up around Luke Air Force Base in between the 303 and the 101 that's traveling up to the north crossing uh, Interstate 17. We'll see additional showers start to fire up uh, through the afternoon and uh, we'll watch for that main zone of rain to kind of shift back closer to the valley a little bit later on tonight and especially for tomorrow morning. The moderate rain that you see in the yellow here passing by Flagstaff and Sedona is now moving up into the Navajo Nation. So uh, folks in northern northeastern Arizona getting uh, all of this widespread rain flash flood warning along uh, State Route 87 here uh, well above the rim. Three, uh, about a third of an inch of rain to Sky Harbor. This is the 24 hour rain report as of this morning. And again, that compares with about a half inch for the entire month on average, making that tropical connection with that moisture from Mexico moving in a soggy Saturday, at least to start the day. We're looking at the still the potential for the heaviest rain in the morning hours. And there's also the potential that we've seen uh, just in the last uh, six, seven hours or so looking ahead into the other half of the weekend for Sunday morning to also have another round of some heavy rain moving through. Keep you posted on that. Lingering rain will keep that chance of showers in the forecast through Tuesday of next week. In fact, 80% on Saturday. We'll call it 50% on Sunday. For now, we might have to up that uh, number a little bit. 30% on Monday and then back to our dry times by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll bring all the numbers in our seven-day forecast and a look at what you can expect with our future cast coming up a little bit later. Tram? All right, Chris, thank you.